What's up, freak team? Just want to do a quick Sunday check-in with you, a real quick video just to get a mental check-in with you, see where you're at, see how you're doing, see how your mind and body is holding up during these crazy quarantine times. What I want to really start off with is, if, if you haven't noticed, and we've been saying it the entire time, that this situation is not going away. It's not going to change much, especially for us in the gym industry, anytime soon. There's no big savior from the government coming. They, they, all they do is argue back and forth. If, you, if you're watching that stuff, don't even spend too much time watching it. I just try to check in once or twice a day. I used to not watch the news at all, but I started to just for this situation because obviously I have to see what it is with businesses and shutdowns and all this other stuff. So don't spend too much time. You'll get sucked into that. Don't just keep the radio on and the news playing all day. It's just going to be, they're back and forth. There's so much propaganda and pushing their own agendas. And then they talk about all this money and all this other stuff that they're giving out. That stuff, do not rely on that stuff. We are not relying on that because we know it's not going to happen. It's, it's always bullshit when they talk about it. All these relief programs and all this other stuff and whatever else it is, we're not going to rely on that. So we are going to rely on ourselves. And in order to do that, it requires to have and it really requires us just to follow our core values. That's it, plain and simple. Plain and simple. But especially the ones where it comes to, we know our three main core values, bring the fucking fire every second of every second. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game and no excuses, never make any, never accept any. Now if you just follow those three, you are golden. But even if you break down our longer list of core values, when it comes to, there's, this is not a time that we can afford to have any negativity. You cannot let any negative thoughts Occupy your mind because all they're going to do is hijack your emotions and not and, and cause you to not operate and function and execute the way that you should. You need to be thinking execution, execution over crazy negativity, execution over ideas, implementation over ideas. Now, if you have some any new ideas, throw them out there. Let's talk about it. Let's let's see what we can do. But in general, right now is the time for execution over just negativity execution over emotional hijacking. That's the way we need to think about it because there's no knight in shining armor on the white horse coming to save the day. That is us. That is our our job. That is our responsibility. And that's what I'm literally working on 24 hours a day to keep fighting this thing because make no mistake, we are at war with this thing and that's the way we need to operate. There's no time for negativity and long drawn out discussions and arguments during wartime. It's just gonna take away from your energy from executing. We need energy towards execution, that's it. Nothing else, we cannot rely on anyone else because I'm telling you, with this, the way we're doing this online stuff, it's so freaking cool. There is so much opportunity. I'm, I'm working on so many things coming up for the future, some big projects that are gonna take, taking me a lot of time to work on because we have to be thinking, forward thinking, that to keep the ball rolling and keep the momentum going about different options, even once the gym opens up. How is it gonna work? How is it gonna look? I'll tell you right now, there's gonna be some crazy guidelines. Even once they allow businesses to open up, they're gonna have severe restrictions on businesses and even more severe on places like gyms. Like I can see it having, sticking with the, 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 the social spacing or whatever that the members can't be a certain distance to each other while they're working out. Probably have to work out with their gas masks on probably can only have a certain amount of people in at a time. So we're gonna to need to have the online going and even just as powerful, even more powerful and even more time put into the online stuff than the in-person stuff, even when the gym opens up because this is not going away anytime soon. I've told you that from the very first day because that's just the way it is. And you could tell that that's the way it's gonna be, especially in this industry. So it is up to us to do this. It's up to us to keep raising our standards and maintaining those standards and expectations with zero negativity, no negativity allowed, NNA, no negativity allowed at all. Can't let that stuff hijack your mind. It's gonna make you not perform. It's gonna make you miss steps in the process that you need to be doing when it comes to the, the basic checklists that you need to work on. And we need to each week step it up even more and more and more. And there's some big things coming down in the pipeline when it comes to the online training the online coaching, we're just gonna keep driving forward full steam ahead of this. There's no reason that in a month from now or two months from now, regardless of what happens in person in the gym, what restrictions they're gonna put on us, because I'm telling you, they're gonna have severe, like debilitating restrictions on gyms once they allow them to open back up. They keep saying they're gonna open up the, open up the economy and open up business. 
They're not talking about the tri-state area, first of all. They're not talking about the gym area. We're a gym in the tri-state area. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot different. So th there's no reason that in a month or two months from now that you can't be more successful making more money with this online stuff that we're setting up, going full steam ahead and doing kind of a hybrid between the online and the in-person because there's going to be so much new opportunity to come that you could do from home as you're doing now. Like I think this is just like a blessing in disguise the way they're doing this. This has just been awesome so far. It's taking some time for the members, some of the members to come on board, but you'll see as this goes on and on and on, and that's the way we need to frame it to the members that we talk to on the phone is that this is the new reality. And explain this stuff to them. Gyms are never going to be the way they are again. New York Sports Club, 24-Hour Fitness, both are in talks with their groups, their attorneys, their investors, their accounting. They're both in talks about going completely bankrupt and closing the entire company down. That's what's going on with the bigger companies. Gold's Gym has already closed over 30 corporate-owned locations across the country. They also have franchise locations, which that's up to the franchise owners. They're not going to close those because they want those franchises to keep paying them even though they're not making money. But those franchises can only operate. Those bigger gyms are even in more danger than the smaller gyms because they have massive, massive overhead that they have to deal with. So those two companies already, New York Sports Club and 24 Hour Fitness, are both seriously pretty close to going bankrupt. A lot of the major department stores, the same thing. So we need to hold the line here and step up even more and, and focus our energy and efforts on this online stuff. There's so, a, 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 some new different options and programs we're going to be putting into place for this pretty soon, pushing forward with one-on-one -on -one training on Zoom. There's no reason that someone can't get in just as good a shape with a one-on-one -on -one coach, especially one-on-one -on, -one on Zoom that we could set them up for. And add that in addition to the groups, in addition to the VIP page, the portal, I'm at literally adding stuff into the portal, adding new sections, adding new content, new data, recording new videos seven days a week. I'm literally recording new videos, editing new videos, writing new content, writing new articles seven days a week and adding it to the portal. There's more content in there than ever. So there's going to be different tiers of options for people for online training, online coaching, so many different things that are going to be available to them that even if they can't step in foot into the gym or can only come in once in a while, it's not going to matter. The value that we're going to give to them, what they're looking for, what they come to us for is not to go and hang out. They're looking for an outcome and a result. Now, they want to get out of their house or whatever. They could go to a park and do this stuff and bring their phone and follow along on a training session in a park in their backyard, anywhere. Like really, when they, if they reframe it, it's, it's fucking awesome, the, the opportunities and the possibilities that can happen. But it requires for us to step up even more than ever, because once a little bit of this dust settles, small, small training centers like ours have already shut down operations and they're trying to do some online stuff. And it's like some lame, like I've studied every single one of them. I watched what every single one of them is doing. I know exactly what their workouts are like. They're all not really delivering much of a good product at all. They're not they're, They have all their members just completely on hold or they're keeping their members paying and they're giving them such a shit product that they're not going to be sustainable. The big gyms are going to shut down. Most of the small gyms are going to shut down and lose even more business than we are. And we're, and we're getting, with the amount of, think about the amount of work and, and value and service that we're giving and still losing over 100 people to freezes. Imagine the small gyms like ours that, first of all, didn't have as much, as good of a service as we do anyway. They don't have as many members as we have. Imagine those that are giving some real shit quality, just a quick one like Facebook live half-assed body weight workout a day or every other day, like bullshit, bare bones crap, and that's all they're providing. They're not going to sustain. When the dust settles, we will be the ones standing still up tall. We will be the ones. And there will be so much opportunity because... Unfortunately, a lot of these other places are not going to be able to withstand this storm because they're first mentally and emotionally can't handle it and physically can't handle it, but they're just not holding the line. They didn't have enough pieces into place. They're not pushing hard enough now. And that's fine. We will be here standing when the dust settles and we will continue not only standing, we're going to be new and improved because of all these online additions and then adding that into the in-person stuff. It's a whole new game. 
So once the dust settles, all these other places, the big companies that are, they're going to be forced to go, they're going to be forced to go bankrupt some of them. They're going to be really struggling because think about it. They can't have hundreds of people there. They can't have people go into the, the saunas and all this stuff. It's just going to be impossible for them to do. That won't happen for months and months, even a year. Who knows how long till they're able to operate the way they used to? Probably, might, maybe never. So like that whole big gym business model might be literally gone forever. If something like this can come in in the snap of a finger, that means it could happen at any time and they're not going to be sustainable in the long term. So we are, we're thinking marathon, not sprint, and we're going to do whatever it takes to be the ones standing at the end and still helping the people out and providing like kick-ass health and fitness and service and mental, mind, body, and nutrition for the members. So that's what I need you to realize is that there is a huge, there is huge amounts of hope and not just hope because it's, hope is useless by itself. Aspirations are useless without action and without attitude and without effort. So that's all we need is effort, action, and attitude with zero negativity. And then the hope is unbreakable because we will be there when the dust settles in one way or the other, we will still be dominating and driving forward while everyone else crumbles around us. That's why we can have zero time and energy put towards negativity, put towards stress and worry. And I understand these are hard times and whatever. And if you need help with stuff, give me a call. Let's get on the phone. Let's talk about it and figure out how we can help you out with things. Like there's always a way to figure something out. There's no situation you're going to come across in life that is unfigure outable. There's always a way around it. There's always a way to, to figure it out. And there's all kinds of, I know, I know over literally over 50 people, either through one or two connections that have died from this, at least over 50. I know hundreds that have been affected with people that have been infected. But you can't let that drag you so low down because if you do, you, you won't be there. You're going to be so far deep in a hole that you're not going to have any way to climb out of that hole once this thing, I'm not even going to say once this thing is over because it's never going to be over. Like way, the way things were used to be are not going to be that way anymore. To get the results and the outcome that we used to get when it comes to everything, and this is in all businesses, all area of life, you're gonna have to, we're going to have to work 10 times harder to get what we used to get before, if that makes sense. And that's, what, that's just the reality of it. That's why we need to be built for this and realize that we are always at war and only those who can withstand this and handle this and not crumble under the pressure and break down are going to be there not only surviving through this rough patch, but thriving in the end and standing tall and still there with their head up, their chest out, their shoulders back and down with hope for the future. That's the message I want to get across to you today. There is massive amounts of hope and opportunity for the future here at Peak because we are not going to crumble like everyone else crumbles. We will figure it out and we'll do whatever it takes to make that happen. So I want to let you know that Let's make this happen. Let's step it up. Let's maintain our standards. Let's even elevate our high standards and expectations even higher than they were before. Let's provide and produce a ridiculous amount of service to the members. Whatever we think we're doing, do even more. That's the way it needs to be. Period. That's it. That's the way it has to be. Nothing else will work at a time like this. Otherwise, we just end up like all the rest of the companies that have to lay off all their employees, all their employees are on unemployment and they're not even getting unemployment. Like I've seen pe people in our VIP group that have been waiting for unemployment for over a month and they're just sitting there with zero pay and might not have a job to go back to even after this st stuff happens because their companies can go out of business. Like this is the time to stand fucking strong and hold the line. That's what this is all about, to step up and maintain that hope but back it up with freaking action and energy and enthusiasm and freaking effort and a positive attitude. I will talk to you later. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. If there's anything you need to talk about, want to talk about, let's hop on a call and talk about it. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.